this is an auspicious occasion that I'm very flattered to be part of with all my cool friends. at Waxing Poetics, followed them all during the late 90s, early 90s. They were fresh, they were new, it was something that was just always exciting to go see. I think they did a reunion show maybe 10 years ago or something, I was at that, and I'm excited to come back and hear them again, you know, it's been a while. So here we are, I don't know how many years later, but I'm glad I made the trek down here, and I'm looking forward to seeing the show as well as old friends, because it's all about connection and maintaining those friendships. The last one we did was at the Tap House, which is a really small club. So I, that was in March of 06. And I don't think everybody that wanted to go to that was able to get in. So I think uh, playing a place like the Norva is uh, more exciting because more people, I think, you know, everybody that wants to see the show will be able to come. I've been working at, for eight years at the school that I'm at, Lansdowne Middle School, and I never even thought to tell people that I was in the band, because I thought, well, no one's going to remember anyway. And then when this thing came about, and uh, the, uh, the word started getting around the school, suddenly everybody was going, why do you say something? That was my favorite band. I'm definitely going to go. I was going to get my tickets before I knew you were in the band. Most people we talk to between 40 and 50 are the ones that are going to remember the band. Not necessarily the young kids, but some of my students, some of my orchestra students are, are going to be here tonight. Brought my son with me, in fact. He's 16 now. We've listened to the CDs. He knows the songs by heart, and we're so stoked. We are so stoked about this. I mean, they came so close. There was, uh, I remember to this day, when Paul McGinnis, U2's manager, and he was thrilled with the band. I mean, he loved the band. And he was like, we've got two or three acts we're going to take to them, and, and your guys are going to be part of it. So. Yes, there was tons of great local music going on here. Well, when it came to something regional or something more national, it was the poetics turn. And uh, they, were, they were just right. They were perfect for it. Perfect for it. And then grunge happened. <laughs> when we were together, we were together almost 24 hours a day. So you get to know each other like a family. And, uh, and you get to, you also, you know, accept people for their faults and everything like that. It's a great education. So Waxing Poetics taught me everything I know about dealing with the world. And um, when we do reunite, it seems like no time has passed at all. You know, it seems like yesterday. The fact of the matter is, is, is this is uh, incredibly uh, well-written music and well-performed music. And, and that's why it still succeeds today. And always well, and these guys should really be proud of their work. You excited? What's not to be excited about? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone ready? Yeah. All right.